Hey everybody, Trigger Bar Philosopher back out at the range. Today I've got a special treat. I've noticed recently that Ruger has re-released the 336 Marlin. And what I have here is my father's 336 Marlin that I inherited. And uh, he had bought probably somewhere around 1985, 1986. So super excited to get this out to the range, see what it can do. I've made some adjustments. I put a, a better uh, rail on top, a pick rail. And I have a Vortex 3-9. to nine. My dad hunted with a 4-power Bushnell. Let's see what it can do. I've got some targets down range, and we'll see what we can get with accuracy with it. Okay, just taking a look at this Marlin 336. Chambered in 3030 Winchester. It is a lever action. Again, this, this one here was probably made in the, in the 1980s. They have a long history. One of the most iconic rifles ever made in, the, in, in America, the lever action rifle. Definitely an American made. I have replaced the scope from when my dad used it. It was a Bushnell four power scope that he bought in the 80s and I've upgraded it to a three to nine power Vortex Viper. And I've got some 3030 cartridges here. You can tell the interesting part about 3030 is a neck cartridge. So again, in some states where you have to shoot straight walled, it's it's you can't shoot that because it is necked. And then also it's rounded. Why is it rounded? Well, because these bullets sit in the tube. And if you had a sharp bullet, it might come back up and poke you in the primer and cause your gun to explode if you were running around with it or or something like that. And there have been quite a few known instances of that so got to have one of these rounded bullets and the soft lead is really kind of a typical one that these were these were made for and so that's what we're just going to be shooting for I have some American Eagle ammunition here I believe this holds five or six rounds I think I have six in it right now then you can have one in the chamber for seven so awesome gun and a little bit of a tribute to my dad you know he's the one who got me into shooting and got me into hunting he wasn't necessarily a big time hunter himself, but he did it because he, because he loved me. So, uh, dad here, this one's for you. Every time I get this rifle out, I can't help but think about my dad hiking some of the mountains out in Utah when I was a kid. It was just a lot of fun to be out with him out in the wilderness, out uh, looking for deer. My dad always joked when he'd come home empty handed that that was the best gift that he had. He spent a day with his son and didn't have to clean a deer. So. Let's, let's get to shooting and, and see what we can do and see what this rifle can do. This rifle isn't particularly known for its accuracy, especially when you have most of the guns only have iron sights loaded up on them. But you know, I have been able to shoot sub MOA on this with Hornady Revolution and, and this scope on it. So I know it's capable of doing it. It's not quite probably uh, capable of it with the Hornady interlock, but yeah, let's see what we can get going on this. Okay, well, fun shooting rifle. This one doesn't come with a uh, any kind of shoulder rest, and uh, so you, yeah, it kicks a little bit harder because it's all hard back there. But let's just take a look a little bit more at the action of this rifle now that we have it going. As you can see here, we pull this, it opens the chamber, brings this back. That's important to remember that this thing is gonna be coming back when you're doing it in case you have your hand back there done that before and then then this has one of the smoothest actions you're going to find the lever action just comes back in so smooth it picks it up it's got a side loading it does not have a tube loader like the henry models it does have this hammer and it's got a stock hammer flange on it so that you can you can lower this hammer into half cock or sorry you can lower this hammer there now it's into a safe position and that is the safe position there it's not really half cock but it's just cock and lock you pop your hammer up and you'd be able to go good and go. Pull that trigger, it's got a nice, light, crisp trigger on it. Just love it. You're just right at the ball at, at the base. There's hardly any play in that. 
So, yeah. Let's go down and take a look at what we did. I don't think we shot great groups, but I don't think this Hornady Whitetail is known for its accuracy, especially at the 30-30. But let's go down and take a look and see what we did. All right, so not incredibly great accuracy. I'd love to say that I was moving the scope, but that's about what I was getting. With that 30-30, definitely have seen it better. I don't think it likes that American core lock. I'll put up a image of when I shot a little bit better with that. You know, is what it is. You know, the 30-30 with a shorter barrel isn't, you know, meant to be the most accurate rifle, but it certainly will take a deer, and that's all within killing distance of the deer zone. Let me know what you think about the Marlin 30-336. This is a gun that's in your collection. Is this something you're interested in getting now that Ruger is, has bought Marlin and they're coming out with a new issue of, of this series of rifle? What chambering would you get it in? Would you get it in 38 Special? Would you get it in 40, you know, 44 Magnum? Um, I'm not sure all the chamberings it's in. Or are you going to go the old reliable 3030 with it? One thing I wish that the new Marlin was released in, which I don't see them having a version yet, is I wish they put it on a threaded barrel. But uh, they don't have that yet. So... You know, that's where we're at. It is a pretty hard, difficult thing to modify this barrel to put in a, a threading on. You'd have to shorten the tube uh, magazine and you'd have to move the sights. And so there's a fair amount of work to that. So not happening for me. I'm going to leave it the way it is and love shooting it and I think it's a great uh, deer rifle. Let me know what you think. Please like, share and subscribe and put your comments, uh, thoughts and ideas in the comment section. Thank you.